based on the data below, which student score improved the most between the midterm and final exams. And so they give us this data in terms of a bar graph for each student. We actually have two bars that show the midterm in blue and then the final exam in red. And they tell us that here, midterm in blue and final exam. And sometimes this is called a two column bar graph because for each student here, you have two columns of data. So if you were to actually look at the data itself, you have the midterm data and then you have the final exam data. Now, they're asking us which student score improved the most between the midterms and the final exams. So if we look at Jasmine right over here, might as well start with her since she's the most to the left. It looks like she definitely did improve from the midterm to the final. It looks like in the midterm, if I had to guess, this looks like about a, I don't know, it looks like she got maybe about a 72 or a 73 on the midterm. I'm just guessing because I don't know the exact number. And then it looks like on the final she got, I don't know, that looks like maybe a 77 or 78. Approximately, so she improved a little bit, about five points from the midterm to the final. The way that they've given us this information, we don't know the exact numbers because it's not it's not super precise in terms of marking off the bars. But hopefully, it'll become obvious when we look through everyone's scores. Let's look at Jeff. So Jeff, Jeff actually did worse from the midterm to the final exam. He got he got looks like over an 85 on the midterm, and then on the final he got about an 84 and 85. So he actually went down. So it's definitely not Jeff. He definitely did not improve the most. He actually went down. Next, if you think about Nevin, it looks like Nevin actually improved about the same much uh, same amount as Jasmine. On both scores, uh, I don't know if Nevin is a boy or a girl's name, this person on both tests, this person did better than Jasmine, but it looks like the actual improvement's about the same. Looks like they went from about an 83 to, I don't know, about an 88. I'm just estimating it, just trying to look at, look at this axis right over there and estimating what those scores are. So Nevin and Jasmine right now, based on the three we've seen, are tied for the lead. Now let's look at Alejandra. Now Alejandra, this is, okay, so this jumps out. She definitely improved dramatically from the midterm to the final exam. It looks like on the midterm she maybe got an 81 or an 82. So maybe this was an 82 she got on the midterm. And then on the final, it looks like she got about a 95. A 95 on the final. So it was dramatic improvement. So right now, Alejandra is the leading contender for most improved from the midterm to the final. And then finally, Marta, right over here, it looks like she actually got worse from the midterm to the final. She scored in the mid-90s in the midterm and then low 90s in the final. So she's definitely not the most improved. So the winner here is Alejandra. Alejandra is the most improved between the midterm and the final exam.